Sonia, we're in the season of tailgating. Are you going to a football gathering? Are they coming to you and you don't know what to take? Guess what? I told you guys I'm from the South and we love boiled peanuts. You know what I've been told? I've been told that boiled peanuts are the caviar of the South. Now, my friend Jay Palacis has given me a great recipe and we're gonna try it in the Instant Pot. It doesn't take a lot. We are gonna use a little bit of hot sauce, but I promise you they're not gonna be spicy. They're just gonna give it a little bit of seasoning and we love that here in the South. You ready to take these to your tailgating party? We're gonna cook these in the Instant Pot right now. You ready to give it a try? Come on, let's cook it in an instant. Okay, let's start out by talking about the type of peanuts that you're going to need if you want to make boiled peanuts. You're not going to be using those roasted peanuts that we like to, to peel and, you know, kind of toss the shells on the floor in our favorite steak restaurants. No, what we need are either green or raw peanuts. You'll find these in any of your grocery stores, but you do not want to use the roasted ones. You need raw peanuts in order for them to boil correctly. Now, I told you guys that boiled peanuts are the caviar of the South. This is how I buy my boiled peanuts. Don't judge me. But you know what? We like boiled peanuts. So why not go ahead and get them in the jumbo size bag? Now that we got everything that we need out of the way when we're talking about our peanuts, let's go ahead and get started. First off, most important, we need to rinse these peanuts off. Now, we know peanuts are grown in the ground. So you got to go ahead and rinse them off so that they can be clean once you put them in the, uh, the mixture that we're going to do for our boiled peanuts. All right, we are ready to get started on our mixture. Let's go ahead and add in 10 cups of water. Now, it's a little bit easier for me. I like to go ahead and put my water in a pitcher and just pour it directly into the Instant Pot. But we're going to need 10 cups of water. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in our salt. So let's go ahead and add in one third cup of salt to our, our water mixture. Okay, next up, I know you guys are like, what? But we're going to go ahead and add in one half cup of hot sauce. I like hot sauce. My preference is Frank's, but use whatever hot sauce that you prefer. It, I promise you it's not going to be spicy. It's just going to give it a great seasoning taste. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of your Cajun seasoning. Now, again, if you want them a little bit more spicy, by all means, go ahead and add in whatever you like. But I am good with that one tablespoon because it gives it that flavor that I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and give our mixture a good stir. We want to stir it all up and then we are going to add our peanuts into the mixture. We want to go ahead and give it a good stir and make sure that we are submerging those peanuts into the mixture. So once you get them in, you want to go ahead and make sure that they are submerged in that liquid. Okay, now you remember that rack that came with your Instant Pot? Hopefully you know where it is. Let's go ahead and grab it because what we're going to do is we're going to place that rack inside of the pot with the peanuts. We want to put it on top because that's how we're going to make sure that we keep those peanuts submerged in the liquid while it's cooking. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put our top on our Instant Pot, seal the valve in the back, and we are going to cook these for one hour and 30 minutes 90 minutes you're going to put the timer up to one hour and 30 minutes okay now here's one of those tips i want to give you once those peanuts are done cooking here is a little suggestion leave them in the pot hours you can see here i left them for about four hours to be honest with you if you left them overnight, it wouldn't be a bad thing. The longer they're sitting in there, they are just soaking in the juice and the seasoning is getting even better. So the longer you let them sit, the better the peanuts will be. And your boiled peanuts are done. Now notice that rack. See how it kept the peanuts down and submerged? So that's why you want to keep that rack in there. And they cooked and they stayed in those juices. And here is your finished product, your boiled peanuts to take to any tailgating event, any football gathering, anytime you have someone coming over the house, or if you just want a snack for yourself, the boiled peanuts, I tell you, are so good and the seasoning is perfect. Comment below and let me know how your boiled peanuts turned out. Still haven't subscribed? Don't worry, it's not too late. Hit the subscribe button now and follow me at Cooking in an Instant with Sonia for more tips and tricks on cooking those instant meals in your instant pot.